Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, this first video for Idol Champions is going to go over the basics of this game. Uh, what to click, what all this stuff is, uh, very high level um, type of tutorial. Uh, and you might be going through the tutorial right now with Bruner and just trying to figure out what everything is or maybe you completed it and you're, you're on to your first variant. Uh, so this here is the campaign map and uh, to go briefly over it, uh, on your left are the three campaigns that we have. These two should be locked in your case, and they'll unlock as you progress further in each subsequent uh, campaign. And then this button right here will have its own video because it just came out, and uh, there's a lot to talk about for that. Uh, moving to the top right, you have your current amount of favor, uh, which simply put is your gold finding multiplier. Uh, and it helps you just kind of like say, oh, how, how far am I in this campaign? And then here you'll have nodes, right? Uh, for the beginning, you'll be in Mirabar, doing your brief tour of the realms, and then an escort through the realms. And then once you complete that, you'll be going down here. Now, currently, we can't repeat variants. So I have to uh, go into a different one, but don't worry. It's, all, it's, it's gonna be a whole bunch of farming for you in a bit. So I'm going to pick the Mad Wizard, because that's my favorite. Uh, and we'll just uh, go through the buttons. So, new screen. Everything's new. Over here, you'll have your current amount of gold. So you just pick up a little bit of gold, and then all of a sudden, boom, got some, got some money. Over here is your uh, party's DPS. This can be displayed in one of two ways. This is the scientific notation, which is my preferred uh method or way once you get past a certain level the other way you can look at it is you uncheck this box in the settings at the bottom uh you can go through and then i have 10.8 million damage per second uh for various reasons i suppose uh some people prefer one or the other for me it's scientific because at a certain point, I forget what letters or like how letters are relative to themselves. So like, okay, millions versus billions versus trillions versus quadrillions versus whatever is past that, right? Like you get very big numbers very quickly. Um, and uh, for me, it's just easier to know that an E01 is 10 times or to, to go up to E02 is just 10 times more. You add a zero to the end uh, of the whatever chain. Uh, Anyway, progressing, uh, moving forward, uh, we'll, we have in the top right your uh, wave completion indicator. So we just completed wave one, and uh, we have our objective, what we're supposed to be doing, but really you just let every everyone do their own thing. And then uh, every five levels, you'll have a boss level. No, uh, shown uh, by as the skull. Uh, and then if you hover over here, you can uh, see what your objective is, your restrictions, what your reward is. And then you can also click on this to like check out a, a, a different challenge or something in case you're wondering what you can do or, or if someone asks. So here, uh, going back to the left, is uh, the main menu button. You have uh, settings. You can change however you like. I have a lot of stuff disabled because some people are sensitive to the uh, flashing or other effects. Uh, for me, I just I don't really need it. Um, and then, yeah, read through it and see which ones you want to have enabled or disabled. Uh, the newsletter, if you click on this button, your personal email will be shown, so I'm not clicking on it. Uh, but you click on it and it'll say, oh, add email. Just add your email, confirm, and you'll be signed up for the newsletter. And that will give you uh, gold chests periodically. You'll get it in an email. And you also unlock a very important character who we'll go over in the next video. Uh, if you click on credits, you'll watch the credits. And uh, if you complete watching the credits, then you get a 1% uh, damage buff in an achievement. And then there's also support asking, hey, I need help. Uh, and of course, quick game. Next over, you have the shop. This is where you can spend the in-game currency, gems, or you can spend real life money. So to go over briefly, 
Uh, you can buy silvers, silver chests with only gems, gold, one gold chest with a, a gem, or you can buy like multiple, multiple stuff with uh, real life money. Um, and then your your, your your chests are stored here. You can click on one and then open it up kind of like a fun little hearthstone like mechanic. Um, and then see what you got. Uh, we'll go over more things in the future. I'm just showing you the basic, like, this is where you open up a chest. We're going to go far into uh, duplicates and upgrading and progression. So don't, don't you worry. Next over, we have achievements. This is all the stuff that you've done. Here's all the achievements ever, right? Uh, and here's the ones that you, you, you can sort by earned. Uh, in progress, which is probably most valuable. Uh, there aren't many left for me. And then there are there are also the uh, events which uh, run every couple of weeks. Uh, moving over, we have our collections button. This is where you can see all of your champions and how geared they are or not. Um, you can click to view a person. And you're like, hey, cool. Uh, 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 um. Chests. Chest is similar to the shop button, but it does it doesn't have the the prompt here. <laughs> which you can get to there. Um, yeah, Two different ways to get to your chest. Actually, there's a third one. Uh, if you go into your inventory button here, we're gonna skip around real quick. If you go to your inventory and you have a chest, you can click on it and say, hey, I wanna open. Um, blessings. Now, blessings are a huge uh, component of this game. Um, they're located here. If you click on it, you'll see a lot of buttons. Uh, the main one that you might see currently is this one. This is Torm. It's the favor uh, attached to the main campaign. Helmvor is for Tomb of Annihilation, and Helm Spirit is for the newest campaign, uh, Dragon Heist. We don't have. Uh, it, you'll see that we have stuff here. Nothing quite here yet, but uh, the. The idea is the same for all things. In in the Torm campaign, you'll have a, a purchase button here where the check mark the check bar, bar marks are, and uh, over time, you know what? Just know that they're here. We'll we'll get into it a whole uh, a bunch later. And then here is a journal. Uh, you can see your little chit chats, uh, stuff that you've earned and loot for past stuff. Um, here is Time Gates. Again, it's getting its own video because it seems complex. And then here is the Complete Adventure button, uh, which is generally once you complete, once you've completed an adventure, it'll say, "Hey, you're done. Do you want to continue or do you want to like wrap it up and complete?" And if you do click that button, then it'll give you a summary screen, and uh, we'll, we'll show it at the end. Let's go with that. Um. Jumping back here, you have wave progression. So we've only completed a oh, wave two. Oh, right, because I probably died. Here, let's get a Celeste out. Heals. Okay. Uh, so if I had completed past wave five, uh, I could click this button and it jumps uh, by five sets. And then the auto progress button uh, is now default on. You don't have to worry about that. And. Uh, what happens here is if you died, like I did on wave three, it'll bring you back to wave two, and this will turn white, which just means you're gonna farm on wave two until you click the auto progress button again, and you're going back to wherever you left off. Sometimes you can move back multiple waves. It'll bring you all the way back to the to the to the currently like in progress wave. <sighs> Down here uh, is a one, two, three, and you might have like a times one there. Uh, the one, two, three are your formation saves. So because we have so many uh, champions, you can move them around and have them in different ways. And sometimes you're gonna wanna save this specific formation just how it is. And you can do like quick swaps. Uh, for that, you will click the save button. You'll go to whichever one you want to save. Most of them will be uh, blank. You just click one, save, good. You might have to override it if you wish to like change what your number one is. Uh, but for each campaign, you get three. 
uh, each, each campaign will have different uh, formation layouts. So this one is in a diamond. Uh, in Tom Tomb of Annihilation, it's it's in a triangle. Uh, so each formation or each campaign gets its own uh, respective formation, so you can play around with who you want to use in that campaign specifically. Then down here in the bottom is a very important button, which I love very much. It's the indicator of how many times you're going to level one of these champions. So here we're a level five Brunor, and it costs six gold to get to level six. And we see our progression bar going up further. Now, uh, however long it takes to, to get to level up, we could figure out, but we'll just go one by one. Next up is 10 times. So if you want to give this Brunor 10 levels at a time, it'll compile all that gold into like, okay, it's 10 levels or nothing. So it's like, okay, give me 10 levels, cool. And then if you've leveled to that point, it'll, it'll say, oh, hey, you need to uh, click this, like this button will turn either a blue or a red or I think maybe an orange. And uh, that'll unlock the upgrade. Because every time you fill out this bar, make your way to the end, like, oh, okay, almost there. Boom. I just unlocked the ultimate attack and it's letting you know like hey cool you got an ultimate attack now you can keep leveling past and you'll never have the ultimate so be sure to click that button uh alternatively my personal recommendation is to go click it until you get to upgrade because upgrade just says hey all this in between level stuff doesn't really matter uh we just care about how much money you need to get to the next big power or like power spike upgrade so here it's like, okay, it'll cost me four po point whatever, this much gold to get the next level of uh, Mass Cure Wounds, which is uh, her healing the, li the line in front of her. You'll see that in green text. Um, so we have one, 10, 25, 100 upgrade, and then it just goes back there. Uh, let's see, down here we have our click damage. So we can either we can click on enemies ourselves, which you will probably be doing, and you probably figured out, like, oh, these things are dying. I need to, I need to click. This button over here helps you increase your damage to 2, 4, 8, 17, 35, 70, so then eventually you can... The, our clicks are taking out giant chunks of their health. If you level it up enough, you can just one-shot, like, spam click, and uh, kill a bunch of bad guys. Um... Moving over, we have our toggle chat. People can talk in here. I never have this open. Here's the news. A little uh, chronological update saying like, hey, here's all this great stuff. Uh, keeps you up to date on what's happening in the game if you're not already connected to the official Discord. Here's the change log button. You click that, you, you it's patch notes, right? What happened on this day? What did they add? What did they change? What did they fix? Pretty standard stuff. And then we have our support button, which opens up a browser and says, hey, what's what's your problem? Um, and then over here, we have the hotkey little uh, mouse over. So there are a lot of uh, convenient ways to uh, interact with this game. For me, probably the most popular is one through zero. That uses the alts. So like down here, we have our alt buttons. I can hit one and then boom, Bruner uses his alt. Um, Familiarize yourself with this because it'll be uh, a boon uh, to learn it now, get the fundamentals instead of like, oh, I never knew I could do that. And then like, it's hard to like reinforce that, that lesson. Uh, over here, we have our inventory button. Over time, you'll gather items like potions and contracts. And uh, this is where they are stored and found. And then over here, we have the familiar button. This one you'll only find once you complete wave 50, or 65 or 66. And once you get that, you can look at these fancy uh, little critters for getting their own video. The final button is this one. It's kind of hidden right here. It just uh, hides the top thing. Like if you want like a cleaner presentation, you don't really care about, care about that top stuff. Or if you want to click the uh, crows that are flying by and you always like accidentally click a button, there's a, there's a little thing right in the top left to bring it up or down. Uh, now, as I said, the last button we do will be this. So uh, you'll see that my my favor goes up. That's relative to how much gold you uh, you uh, collect. So every every one favor is equivalent to however much gold, and that's on an increasing scale. 
Well, let's click that complete button. We're going to get a cool little campfire screen rising up to the stars. And we'll see just how much gold we earned, how much favor that uh, uh, converted into. And then some stats. You'll click continue and you'll go back to the campaign map. Again, this was a very basic video on just familiarizing yourself with the game. Might be a little long, but there's going to be a whole lot more, which are, gonna, which are designed to be a lot shorter. Uh, a couple of these are long by design just because it's so simple information that hopefully people who need to watch this are watching the whole thing because uh, I've segmented the information in logical groupings. Anyway, thank you for watching, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.